Hey guys, so as you know, I just went and did a show over at the Columbus Zoo, one of the top zoos in the country. And the good folks over here decided that not only do I get to perform and hang out with you guys, but I also get an animal encounter. So I get to hang out with all the animals that like Jack Hanna takes to uh, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, I don't know which Jimmy, but one of the Jimmys. Uh, I think probably James Corden too. Wherever Jack Hanna goes, these are like the animals he shows everybody. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna hang out with the animals, guys. So they haven't told me any of the animals that I'm gonna see. So this will all be a total surprise, which kind of makes me excited and nervous at the same time. Cause I'm like, why won't you tell me what I'm seeing? Is something gonna eat me? <laughs> but I know they wouldn't do that. They're good folks. <laughs> So this is trout. This is trout, guys. What up, trout? It's a little African black-footed penguin. And penguin? if you sit down, he'll he'll jump up in your lap. Are you serious? Yeah. If you sit down like on the ground, uh, okay, just cross applesauce. Yeah, sit down on the ground. Yeah, that, and nope. He's gonna jump in my. Come on. What's up, buddy? Are you gonna jump in my lap? Hmm? Oh, are you? There you oh, go. Oh my gosh, guys! I'm getting a penguin hug. <laughs> This is yeah. incredible! Yeah. Hello! Yo, you're really wanting a hug. What's up, man? <laughs> oh, he, he really loves people. Oh, I can tell. Yeah. I thought it'd be like, oh, if I get close, is he gonna like peck me? But he just jumped up in my lap. Look at you! <laughs> oh my gosh! And you can try to get in there behind his head. They have the highest density of feathers per square inch than any bird. It's kind of hard to... I think that all those are just little feathers. Even oh on the gosh. wing, you can see all those little, uh, they almost look like scales. They do. Tiny, tiny they, little feathers. They kind of feel like scales, too. And then you smell your hand, it may be a little little fishy, a little oh. oily kind of smell. They, they, it's, it's worth it to hold a penguin. I'm crying out loud. I can do with a little smell. Look at you. Are you trying to get in my pocket? I don't have any food in there. Anything shiny. Anything dangly is potentially a, a fish, and then they don't have any lips, so they have horrible kisses. So they're oh, trying, okay. trying to do anything trying to get quick you. on them, yeah. Oh, the beaks are so cool. Thank they, you. Grow, they grow real flaky, and they polish them down. Oh, oh you done? Yeah, okay. I'm done with you. There you go. <laughs> Guys, I held a penguin! I can die a happy man now. I held a penguin. Also, oh, oh. They, you, you'll be able to hold this guy too. Oh, <gasps> I get to hold him too? Yeah, you can hold this guy too. Just any guesses. It's, it's a kangaroo, it's I think. A oh, oh my gosh. Look at that face. Oh, hey buddy. Don't eat my microphone, okay? Oh, he's so soft. Okay. This is a little red kangaroo. This is Biggie. Hi, Biggie. He's got a roommate in there named Mr. Dinkles. <laughs> oh, I love the Biggie. trolls yeah. reference. Hello there, Mr. Dinkles. Now smile. Wait, now you're Biggie. Where's Mr. Dinkles? You don't have Mr. Tankos. I got him. I could go get him too. <laughs> yeah. And you can hold his. You can hold his little T-Rex arms if you like. His say, little hey, T-Rex hey, arms. Say hi to him. They feel different. They're like real soft. You. He's um, you know, about a, about a year old. This isn't an animal that that needs carried around on a pouch still. We're kind of spoiling him a little bit. Oh like yeah. Um, and we'll continue to spoil him for like we we have one Matari down at our. Uh, came to walk about that that we had for almost three years. Oh wow! And he'd still come up to you even to this day. He's fifteen. He wants picked up. Um, <laughs> oh, I bet they love being. They kind of stay big. Yeah, they stay big babies. If, if you let them stay big babies, you should big baby. That's right. I can handle a big baby. A lot of people think I'm just a big kid. So we're two of a kind, right there. <laughs> He's sniffing my hand. Probably he smells like fish. <laughs> can you do a James Corden impression? I mean, that's who you're named after, is Biggie. And you know, that's, that's, what he, that's what, who he's voiced by. Can you do that? No? Now what is this? Oh my gosh. This is a snow leopard? This is a clouded leopard. Clouded leopard. He was running around outside. It's a little warm. We'll put him down. I'll see if he'll... We'll just kind of lay down for us. Nice cool ground here. But this is Cosmo. Hi, Cosmo. And Cosmo, uh, Cosmo's only about four months old, but you can see he's done a, quite a bit of growing in those four months with how big those feet are. Oh, yeah. Um, they'll never grow into those feet, too. That's kind of... They the, never will. It's like no, they're always too big. They stay, they'll, they'll just always kind of stay behind. He's laying on the shoe. Oh, he's laying on the foot. Mm -hmm. Can I pet him? You may. Go, go ahead. Just, he was, he, uh, 
had a fight with his water bucket earlier. Oh, uh, uh, that's why he's a little yeah, wet. He's a little wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh my gosh. They're just beautiful cats, A, but B, their numbers are one of those that it's disputed. You'll hear there's a thousand of them. You'll hear there's n 10 left. You'll hear there's oh, yeah. uh, 10,000 left. Just what everyone agrees is in the wild, these guys are just extremely rare. You see his, his feet, oh. his pads? Yeah, look. You can feel them. Go I ahead. can feel them? Yeah. Oh, wow, they're warm. It's like they sweat and they, they get rid of all their, their body temperature kind of through their... What? Yeah, oh. down. He just wants to wander. You just want to hang out. He's like, it's too hot to get held. Hi. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you are beautiful. Just Oh, oh, it's wet. Sorry. Come on, over here. Get an Do you get in a fight with your water bowl too? No, it, they're hosing, so he had to walk walk through a little bit of wet keeper aisle. And he was trying to hover a little time. Oh, that's your bowl. This guy's just guy. like, I want my stage. Where's yeah, my stage? Does. This guy, he, he has. There's. He's like the squirrel from over the hedge. He's got <laughs> no attention. I mean, it's to go. Oh, you're like Steve Carell, aren't you? <laughs> Hi, Timmy. Timmy. He used to be Tiny Tim, and then uh, he's not. He's not he's kind of pulled through for us. We got him. His siblings didn't make it. it just kind of. Oh. They were kind of just a sick. Um, is it a sick bunch? Sick litter. Yeah. They just. This is a little bobcat. Just. Um, he made it just fine. Just turned out. He's, he wrestles with that common leopard all day, so he's he's. Kind of a lot more built than you see him. He's oh, wow. he's a good cat. He's just oh yeah. He's just I got think. he's got no. He just can't focus. <laughs> he can't fit. Not even for he doesn't. He ignores food. He doesn't. He just wants. He just wants to. Yeah, he's a wild cat. There's nothing wrong with that. He just wants to explore. He wants to do his thing. Yeah. He's a cat. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're right. He he can't focus. No. He wants. He <laughs> want to say hi to YouTube? No. No, he's he too excited. He's just he like, not. nope, I don't want to say hi to you too. Hey, buddy. You hear that purr? I do. Can you guys sit? He's sitting. The dogs don't sit, but you sit. There you go. Not good. You guys want some? There you go. And Ray's like, I'm not done yet. Yeah. Ray, Ray would eat chicken forever. He loves chicken. Yeah, cook, we have a lot chicken. in common that way, don't we? <laughs> we taught him a behavior for the dentist to open his mouth. Mm -hmm. So he just, he offers it all the time. So that's what you see, like he's like, look at my teeth, look at my teeth. It's, it's like, I get chicken now, right? So, yeah, it used to be a little hand command we'd make. We'd go like, go like that, and he'd open his mouth, kinda. He doesn't do it as much, he just does it when he wants now. Gotcha. Hi, Ray. Yeah. You like Ray the Firefly? If you're way bigger than five flat. I'm surprised by how loud that purr is. It's like a little motor, isn't it? Mm-hmm. How big their eyes are. Their eyes kind of look through you. They like do. They look, they look, they make eye contact with you the first couple times they start working here. It, it almost can make you, your stomach turn. Around. A little bit. Yeah, but she but does she do about 70 miles an hour. I think class, the fastest one ever clocked was in ca captivity, just because it was the most controlled setting. Yeah. And it was about 72. So don't ever go on a highway. You're gonna get a ticket. Well, he for here. One piece at a time. Yeah. And back up a little bit. Okay, back up a little bit. And he has an 18-inch tongue. Knows how to use it. So okay. I see only, that. Only one piece at a time. Only one piece I, my at job time. is to keep him here, so ah, you gotcha. can do it when oh, you're ready. There you go. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Hey, buddy. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at that. His beautiful eyes. Do you see his beautiful oh, eyes? Oh, he does. And his eyelashes. Look at that. Yeah, I know some women who would pay big bucks for those eyelashes right there. <laughs> Alright, here you go. You want some more? Oh my gosh! Oh, he got me on top on that last one. Yeah, awesome. pretty cool. Okay, so we have already done uh, two shows today. They've both gone very well. So now, we've already fed giraffes. Now it's time to go feed a rhino. <laughs> Sometimes she's in the far yard. Usually when she hears the gate, she's ready to go because she knows oh. she's going to get yeah. fed. There she is. There she is. Oh, look at her. Good girl. Come here. Oh, this is a black rhino? She is a black rhino, yes. Ooh. So she's, um, she's our only one right now, but um, she doesn't mind. They're pretty solitary by nature. 
All right. So she doesn't mind being the only one. She gets all the attention, all the tours, all the yeah. treats. Yeah. Yeah, she likes Tigger that way. She's yeah. the only one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hi. And they are browsers by nature, so Rosie loves leaves. All right. Hi, so Rosie. She will take them with her upper lip there and just munch away. Are you guys seeing this? I'm feeding a rhino. Oh, my gosh. You know, they're pretty rare in the wild, and they're kind of rare in zoos as well. In AZA zoos, they're about 60, I think. So here, I'll just keep giving you all okay. the good stuff. She's really okay if I touch her? Oh, absolutely. Oh, wow. Their their skin is thick, but it's sensitive. So she likes it. Um, they're they're kind of like big puppy dogs with horns. Aww. So they like to be scratched and petted. They like the. Can attention. I touch your horn? You sure can. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't well, want me to touch she's gonna cooperate. <laughs> You're Come being on, just a diva today, aren't you? Rosie. It's okay. I want to be your friend. <laughs> Pachyderm power. Yes. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, and their horns, you know, they're just keratin. They're they're hair fiber. Yeah, so it's just like if they were touching our fingernails or something yes, like that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, I found a rhino! I got to touch him! It was awesome! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're she welcome. was amazing. You're welcome. All right, guys, so I'm about to get ready to do my show with the Symphony Orchestra. Just gotta say, Columbus Zoo has been a fantastic experience. They are a great zoo, so many great people. I've had the time of my life here, and definitely go check them out. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!